The police have confirmed another person has died following the eruption on White Island, bringing the official death toll to six. The person was earlier being treated at Middlemore Hospital. The Ministry of Health earlier said of the 31 people who were in hospital following the eruption on Monday, 25 are in Burns Unit in Christchurch, Hutt Valley, Waikato and Middlemore Hospital. Since then, one of those 31 people has died. Eight people are reported as still missing. The Ministry of Health spokesperson Peter Warstone said six patients had been transferred to Tauranga and Auckland to be treated and will be transferred to the four regional burns unit as soon as there is capacity. The volume of work facing our National Burns Unit at Middlemore Hospital in one day is equivalent to the normal workload that they would see in a typical year at the Burns Unit at Middlemore, Mr. Watson said. 27 people suffered burns to more than 30% of their bodies in the eruption yesterday afternoon. Many of the patients have suffered inhalation burns. Mr. Watson said only a few of the patients were not in a critical condition and all of the burns units are currently at capacity. 47 people went on the island, 6 are confirmed dead, 8 are missing, 30 are in hospital around the country and 3 were discharged overnight. The bodies of 5 of the deceased have been taken to Auckland. Police have said there are no signs of survivors on the island. Among the injured or missing are tourists from Australia, United States, United Kingdom, China, Malaysia and New Zealand, including 37 passengers and one crew member from the ovation of the sea's cruise ship. The Chinese ambassador to New Zealand, Wu Zi, confirmed one Chinese national had been taken to hospital with injuries. She said she was waiting for more details and had asked the New Zealand government to make arrangements so she can visit the patient. Wakatan man Hayden Marshall Inman, a White Island tour guide, is among the deceased. In the aftermath, stories of heroic rescue efforts have begun to emerge. The police disaster identification team are assembling in Wakatan to await deployment and a civil defense center open today at Te Kapitu Ate Wanga Ate at 49 Kakahura Drive, Wakatani to provide psychosocial support. Police have backtracked after Police National Operation Commander Deputy Commissioner John Tim said in a press conference today a criminal investigation had begun into the circumstance of the deadly eruption on White Island. They have since released a statement in clarification saying it was too early to confirm whether their investigation on behalf of the coroner would be a criminal investigation. Terms of reference will be decided in the next few days, but the investigation will be carried out alongside a work and safety investigation by WorkSafe New Zealand. As the workplace health and safety regulator and administrator of the adventure activities regulations, WorkSafe will be investigating and considering all of the relevant work, health and safety issues surrounding this tragic event, police said. Meanwhile, Civil Defense Emergency Management Director Sarah Start Black said there was a 50% chance of another eruption in the next 24 hours. GNA said the chances of a large eruption were low, but the volcanic alert level remained at the minor volcanic event while the aviation color code remained at orange. Mr. Timms said attempts to get a drone to the island to access the condition would continue today. A previous attempt made earlier today was unsuccessful. To launch a drone over the island, a boat will need to get within one kilometer of the shore. Earlier today, Prime Minister Jikinja Ardern met some of those who rescued survivors from White Island. She also went to visit patients at Wakatani Hospital about 10 a.m. this morning.
She went to the Wakatane Fire Station where she talked to Kahoo helicopters, pilots, firefighters, and ambulance staff. Meanwhile, questions are being raised over why tourists were allowed on White Island, but the company that owns the tour firm says the alert level was within its guidelines. White Island Tour is owned by Glati Ola Holdings and Chair Paul Quinn said the heightened alert levels on the volcano over the past few weeks didn't meet its threshold for stopping operations. Earlier, a Nauti Awa leader confirmed a rally had been placed on the island.